Well, it's dahlia season. I'm out at Swan Alley and Dahlias. I'm with Heather. Hi. And people, you know, have dahlias in their yard, but sometimes we get questions on how do you cut and use a dahlia as a cut flower. Yeah, dahlias are great for cut flowers, but there's many things to know about how to cut it, when to cut it. Probably the biggest thing to know is that you want to make sure you're not cutting too old of a bloom. Okay. So something that's already at this point, that's already wrapping back, or maybe is already dying on the back, skip those. You want to go to something that's maybe half or three quarters of the way open. So this guy is a great example. And when I go down to cut, I know it's really hard to do it. Most people don't want to go past that. They want to leave the bud. Right. But you really need to go down. We say two or three leaf sets. We cut all of our stems at about 20 to 24 inches. Okay. So it may be three or four leaf sets, but right where you cut. So you're going to cut right above a leaf set and at that joint, it's going to send up two more stems. So two new laterals are going to come. So this guy is ready to go um, nicely this way. It's not too old. It's got many okay. days to age. Um, and I took off the bottom leaves because we really don't want the bottom leaves in water. Okay. So um, now we need to talk about right. how to take care of it. Right. And you were, you were commenting on appropriate you know, ways to cut them and not yes. using something dull, right? Yes. Yeah, so the important thing is we use knives and kind of duct tape our thumbs up so we've got something to cut against. Okay. You could use clippers. You could use anything. But the thing is, a dahlia is hollow stemmed. So if right. something is dull, it's going to crush this stem and not allow it to be able to drink the water properly. Okay. So make sure whatever tool you use that it's sharp. Okay, which is great, great tips on, yeah. on how to do that. And then you'd also talk too about how, you know, if you have a real tight bud that doesn't have color, that might not necessarily open up in, right. in water. Dahlias don't develop in bud once they've been cut. So if you have a bud like this that you've cut with another stem or by itself, you're going to get a partial bloom or a half bloom. Okay. Probably not a full bloom, um, but if it is solid green like this in this case, you won't get anything opening from it. So no flowers at all, which is kind of heartbreaking. Right. But, <laughs> but you can be selective. Yeah, you know, the exactly. dahlias are growing fast and they're continuing to grow and put, put up some new yeah. flowers. So. We just really want you to cut more than just the six inch stem. People call all the time and say, what varieties make the longest stems? So I don't have to take any buds. There really isn't. Very few varieties make a 12 or a 20 inch stem without putting out buds somewhere okay, on that right. stem. So it's okay to take out a few of those buds when you okay. go. So you know, now that we have our dahlias cut and we're prepped, you have some tips on how to make your dahlia blooms last a little bit longer. Yeah, in they're very unique. So we need to head over to the water and I'll show you. Perfect, great. You know, so now that we have our flowers cut, you have some tips on how to preserve them to make them last longer. We do. So dahlias are unique. They need to go in hot water, hotter really? than your tap water. They really? need to go in about 160 to 180 degree water, two to three inches deep in your bucket. So this has already got nice hot water in it ready for us. So we're going to leave them in there about an hour. Oh, really? So ideally it's not a dipping and it's not boiling water. Make sure you do use some type of thermometer okay. to check it. Um, you're going to leave them in there about one hour, come back and check them. They should feel nice and crisp just by filling the oh, bloom. Really? Okay. But you can also take a peek at their stems and you should see a discoloration. And this is just the watermark from the hot water. Right. That can be left on or removed. It's nice and firm. It hasn't weakened it in any way. Um, but usually if you're going to put them in a clear vase or something, you want to give them a fresh cut. But this has opened up the stem so that they will freely drink where they naturally seal themselves off when you cut them. So. Um, kind of so, unique. <laughs> it is a totally unique, something you wouldn't even think of to put, yeah. it, put it in hot water. A so. lot of people just want to dip, but it really, they need to sit an hour. Right. So ideally we'd like this to get back to room temperature and then okay. you know you're ready to go. Now you said there's some varieties of the dahlias that don't do as well with a hot water bath, right? Yes, correct. So there's a colorette style. This is a single. So it's any of these open faced guys. Uh, most of them are not good cut flowers. There are a few varieties on the market that are good okay. cut flowers, but the really important part is that when you pick them, you pick them with a solid waxy center. As soon as you see that yellow pollen there popping out, that's telling you the age of the bloom. So you really want to make sure you get it before it's too old since it's so hard to tell how old the bloom is right. since it's not filling out. Right. So, um, And you know, if you find a variety in your yard and it doesn't last, you pick it and it starts dropping petals, most likely that's just the characteristic of that dahlia. Gotcha. You know, so people can come out here, you have, you know, the vast fields are open that you can, they can come out and walk, walk yeah. the fields. Your festival is not going on, correct? Correct. Festival was canceled just to keep us all safe and um, get over this COVID so we can move on and go right. back to festival. But the fields, the gift shop, cut flowers are all available and we are open. Excellent. So the best place, you know, you can go to your website. Dahlias.com. Dahlias.com or your Facebook page. Or you can go to gardentime.tv and we can click you open over for all this information on the cut dahlias, you know, your festivals. 
that's not going on I but know. you feel how you can still enjoy <laughs> yeah, it yeah definitely and pick up a cut flowers yeah it's, it's we'll have great. lots of cut flowers available so heather i appreciate being out here thank it's you. been great thank you